pathetic lost ball. You can't do this. It's not right. I won't let you get away with this, you know. You can't do this. I'm magic and I'm a little fairy friend and I'm never going to grow up with everybody else. You can't. <laughs> well, not for long, Pam. This is my moment. My time to defeat you. The boy will never grow up. We, uh, we find them up, sir. Just like you said. Good, good work, Smee. You're pure evil. You're more evil than Michael Gove. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> now, now, sit still. The problem is, Pam, I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I saw you prancing about in Neverland. I just don't know how to deal with you and your irritating lost boys. I have so many wonderful ideas. You poor thing. You see, I could make you work me on the ship. On our ship, Captain. Our ship's me. Yes. <coughs> our ship's me. No, no, I actually meant your ship, Captain. Obviously. Quite right. And then I realised you and your fairy folk would just annoy me on my beloved Jolly Roger. I could cut off your head with my extremely sharp cutlass. But then, that would be too easy and not half as much fun. And then I realised I could get you through that little fairy friend of yours. What was her name? Buttercup Glitter Fairy something. <laughs> it takes about and leave her out of this. No, why? Would you not like it if I met her? I can be a very dashing and handsome gentleman, I'll have you know. Leave Tinkerbell alone. You don't scare us with your ridiculous moustache or your girly hair. Oh, Steve, they don't like my flowing locks. <laughs> the her being a fairy, apparently, it's even nearly impossible to actually catch that little mischievous sprite. Good, she's far too clever for you, anyway. Yeah. Now, let's wait a long time. There is no one quite as clever and twisted as me. Right, me? That's a blooming lately, sir. And that's why I have to get rid of you and your little friends. You are the only thing spoiling my time in Neverland. Yeah, I can't live on this ship forever. Me gets awfully seasick. I have dreams, you know, Pam. Their ambitions, goals, and you are getting in the way. Come on. 
Never mind, dear. You've got them now. The boys are just looking at them for you. Wendy boys. It's Wendy sporting them Bernie stories. I mean, how you the X Factor or something to watch? <laughs> You're a big girl now. How much childhood behind? Oh. Be good, children. You won't be large. I don't have to make them. Oh, now, now, Wendy, don't be sad. There's plenty of things to look forward to when you grow up. Staying up late, eating whatever you like, paying taxes, <laughs> working long hours for little pay. So you've got all that to look forward to. Right, stand for bed, my little treasure seekers. Bye, not even tired, Nana. Nana, can we have breakfast in bed tomorrow? Breakfast in bed? The only way you're getting breakfast in bed is if you sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> right. Settle in, children, it's time to sleep. Good night, Nana. Good night.
Emma. What could go wrong? It'd be like having their own, own adventure, Wendy. Can we go, please? Well, if you're sure we'll be back before morning. Cross my heart. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
jolly rows. It'll give me a chance to try out my shiny new cutlet. <laughs> oh yes, I must say, I have been more on the spot for that. How did you get it? Me, where did you find this batch? They're far too well spoken to be pirates. You are pirates, aren't you? Do you even know why pirates are called pirates? Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are! Right, that's it. Get out of our sight. Eh, uh, rightio. I feel we may have outstayed our welcome. Go on, run your little kippers are on deck washing duties for a month. Go on, go! Spree! Spree! Okay, Captain. Oh, of course I'm not all right, Spree. I need a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
devil. Well, we go hey around. The least you can do is hang the rigging up and take a turn on the lookout. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's supposed to be a jolly. Beaches, bikinis, and boys. I was promised that on what I've got. A bunch of fishy pirates. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You love it when you do that smoldering thing. Really brings out your uh, eye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't for me, wait. Don't do your back out. Stop it, you lazy dirty. Right, I'm off to find him up. Don't go change it to try and please me. She is putting us a bit dapner on my fantastic evil mood. And if that woman thinks she's reading me bedtime, Oh, yeah. get horrendous nightmares. <laughs> you see, I'm ever so afraid of the dark. Me, <laughs> me, it's dark. You know, I don't like the dark. Me, me, me.
overtaking them during our steep descent. This is so cool! Oh, don't touch anything until the others arrive. We might have landed in the wrong place. Have a look around and see if you can find Peter. Where's Nana? Oh, I'm sure she hasn't gone far. She's bound to be with Peter and Tinkerbell. I tell you what, why don't you sit here and wait for them? By my calculations, we arrived in an offshore easterly breeze heading in a western direction. So take into account the low humidity. I predicted that in a clearing just over. Hmm. There. Right. Well, maybe we should go and look for them. Michael? Michael? But where's he got to? Has anyone seen Michael? <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Never. Very well, then I cannot be held responsible for the consequences. Bring the girl. What shall we do with the others, Captain? Kill them. Kill them all.
Because they are. 
to snack. Your tongue cuts quick, sir, I replied. A shame your sword doth not. Oh. I fixed my eyes upon him, and with a hearty laugh I bet him, tis I, Captain Scurvy of the high seas, the most infamous pirate to ever steal a gentleman's purse or a lady's heart. <laughs> Bravo, sir. With one swift move, I drew my trusty sabre from its scabbard and made a clean swipe at his throat. The blade severed his windpipe, and he dropped to his knees like a felled oak. Blimey? Blimey indeed, madam. I turned to make my escape. When all at once, 85 Spanish guards burst through the doors, flailing their swords above their heads. Most disconcerting, scurvy. I'll say, with a blink of an eye, I table and dispatched a couple like so. Ha ha! And then, reaching up, I grabbed a loose rope and swung toward them. Ha ha! Oh, Eight more lay dead. I reached the door, kicked it open, and at the end of the corridor stood another two or three hundred Spanish guards. And then, yes, and then, yes, and then, yes, Five years old again. <laughs> Playing kiss catch in the school library. I have to say it was a very strange dream.
I've always dreamed of setting up a little seafood bistro down by the quay. We must be going to business together with my business acumen and my culinary skills. And I'm here too. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. This is me. You know your way round the galley. Why don't you be head chef? Fine. <laughs> no more rocking boats. To feel dry land under my feet again would be a godsend. I'd love to. Oh, can I come too? I've got crabs. <laughs> <laughs>
crocodile got a built-in toothpick. <laughs> and Tinks, thanks again. Oh, it's okay, Peter. Sorry I got us into that mess. Oh, it all turned out for the better. Puck's gone, Wendy's safe, and the lost boys won't have to worry about nasty old Captain Hook again. Is Handy on her way back now? Oh, come on, Tinks. She's allowed to stay for a little longer. I don't want to see you go green again. That wasn't what I meant. I was going to offer some of my fairy dust, you know, so that they could get home safely. That's a great idea, Tink. Do you think I can ask you a small favour, though? Anything for you, Peter. Well, you see all these lovely ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls? Yes. Oh, goodness knows how they got here without any of your fairy dust. But do you think you'd be able to give them some to make sure they got home safe as well? I'm not sure I've got enough, Peter. And I'm not sure they need it. Some of them look like they've just come from down the road. <laughs> what do you say, everyone? Should Tinkerbell give you some of her fairy dust? Yes! yes. Oh, no, I shouldn't. Oh, yes, you should. Oh, yes, you should. Oh, yes, you should. Oh, yes, you should. oh hello, Peter. Yoo! <laughs> What's that, Nana? Oh, well, I found an old Justin Bieber ticket nailed to a tree. So I took it. Now we know when a good nail will come in handy. <laughs> Number. 
school version of Mamma Mia. <laughs> it was around the same time I lost my hand to the fierce and crocodile. Do you know the story of my hand to the fierce and crocodile? I said yes. It was a particularly bad winter's day, and I had the worst news of troubled sailors on the seven seas. Oh dear! My nose was streaming, my head was spinning, but worst of all, my eyes were running. I couldn't stop rubbing, and that's how I lost my eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. He lost his eye from rubbing it too much. Because he got the flu. Well, that's what I thought. So I asked him that and he said, not from the flu. I haven't gotten used to the hook. <laughs> Yeah, we go 